fruits and vegetables and went on a fast and did nothing but meat and dairy and ended up losing half my body weight in less than a year. So how much of that was actually fat and how much of it was inflammation is anybody's guess. But the fact of the matter is, is that I can't, I love, I love plants and I love to garden, but I can't eat them because they will kill me. (laughs) And how many people are out there who are actually having those problems with obesity who are told, oh, it's your diet. Well, it may be their diet, but we have no idea what they're actually eating. And if they change their diet and they start eating meat in direct opposition to the federal guidelines and all of these different medical societies, then they're told by the doctors they're doing it wrong. Hey, Jeffrey. How you doing, JD? How you been, old man? I'm good. Hanging in there. Great. Uncle Ratatouille. We get, you gave us a scare again. Yeah, I know. He's here and it makes us all worried. Yes. Um, you worry about me a lot. What's on your ears, sweetie? <laughs> well, I'm, glad, like I'm glad that you think. Ears, darling. I'm glad You're that you think of man. me. I am a great old man. <laughs> <laughs> Want to say hi to everybody, Rafi? If you yeah. sit up there. Um, so what's going on today? One of the JD? benefits of an omnivore diet that's based on meat is that you get to become an old man someday. Like I'd that be more worried about genital shrinkage. Mm, how old are you? Why would you? Why would you consume something that shrinks your genitals, dude? It's weird. Yeah, I don't think that we're the same age, but. How old are you? Just out of curiosity. What's that? Forty-five. How old are you? Okay. What are you guys talking about today? All right. Uh, we're talking about why vegans have jumped on this stream with uh, illegal porn, ambush us, and try and get us in trouble. That's Did you see that, done it Jeffrey? Twice. No, I Did didn't see that, see Jeffrey. That. Those are dastardly old tricks. <laughs> Yeah, dastardly. <laughs> would you get on to a vegan for doing that, or would that be something that you would? Uh, yeah, that's that's. Give I would consider to? that bad form. I would rather one-on-one debate someone than try and just tear their stream down. Someone said it's a crime to post porn on YouTube. Is it? Yeah, yes, it is. in the UK, I know it is. it's not a crime. It's a policy. It is in the UK. No, it's, it's a crime in the UK. If you publish dick pics on a public stream and broadcast to ambush people it's considered revenge porn and it's a crime you can go to jail for it do, do you it, what so, is it what what's it, do, it is that erect or flaccid well if someone ambushes us with a movie of someone jerking off they're not flaccid yeah. are they so it has to be hard. So if it's a flaccid penis, it's not a crime. Then it's probably a vegan. <laughs> if it's flaccid, it's probably a vegan. Okay. <laughs> what are you talking about? Saturated fat and cholesterol I clog artery. That. that comes from eating corpses, guys. Um. So okay, you're mad that the porn thing happened. What else are you guys talking about? I, I'm not. I'm not mad. I'm. Just a little bit uh, disappointed. What would you? I mean, what's the emotion? Why are you hiding, JD? Why are you hiding today? Well, I'm hiding because I'm sitting in the middle of a field in the dark. Oh yeah. And yeah, and it's kind of funny because I had just finished cleaning up the barn and went to go inside, and my phone tinkled, and I looked at it, and it says. Garland Farms is streaming, and I went, oh, I'm awake. <laughs> so I'm literally sitting here in my truck. So it's dark. Wow. It's like 917 in Ohio right now. So there's no point in showing my face because you won't see anything anyway. Yeah, we actually we actually wanted to have a like productive stream about various topics. We actually also wanted to analyze. <laughs> The last debate that we had, 
another vegan uh, called uh, what was his name Nick, Nick the anti carnist we had like a debate slash discussion with him and we sort what of wanted to analyze that a little bit uh, whether or not consuming animals is unethical that's uh, a big premise to go over in one debate me and garland spent yeah, it was like six six debates basically going over one aspect of it it's better to whittle things down to smaller smaller things that are actually tackleable in a smaller amount of time so you can actually get somewhere can i um counter that with the fact that when you do that you remove all the nuance from the conversation debating remove the nuance well, yeah. If, if you if you cut it, if you compartmentalize you it, funny, JD. What? Why are you hiding, and why do you sound so funny? Well, um, I'm not I'm hiding. Go ahead, continue. Okay. Uh, why does it matter if we hide or not? If you, if I thought you was up for debate, so it should be about ideas, not how pretty our faces are. Okay. Right. Okay, well, okay, what's what's a specific idea you want to talk about with a vegan? Okay. Um, do we need to eat meat, yes or no, to thrive and be healthy? Because that's what it boils down to, right? No, I said something specific. At the end of the day. Super big, broad. Like, that's not something we could get, over, you know, through. That's a huge, like, morally, you know, like, just, just... Just arguing, just debating the moral side of that would probably take at least four to six hours. So I'm talking about like let's like a small thing that's very like specific, like you know, like me and JD, we went over crop deaths, um, and that took us a very long time. So that's just one aspect. We didn't go. We didn't go over all of. The yeah, uh, we we didn't go over the the biofuel and that was, food thing. That right? was. <laughs> that was before anti-war mindset who's in the room came to the table and pretty much doubled the amount of research that we have proving that a vegan world would result in gargantuan increases in toxic factory monocropping right and Just the crop deaths again, associated right? with <laughs> So Garland, let, let, we've let, already let been through this. Are you going to sit here and lie to me and say that we didn't go through this and you conceded that that plant that animal agriculture does more harm to the environment? No, sir. I never did concede that. Yeah, you did. You got let, let me, let me. Wait, a wait, a wait a second. You, so, uh, so I raise livestock. And uh, I, well, use... I definitely don't care about your opinion if you raise livestock. Well, no. I'm sorry. I did I you not watch the debate between me and Garland Farms? There was four I of them. Probably did. And it ended with Garland Farms admitting to me and Chris Hines live on the air. You can watch it on my 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 YouTube right here. Right here, you can see JD Garland admit that plant animal agriculture was causes more harm to the environment. He he did it. Well, and, the whole reason that I know, raise animals is because I'm remediating land. Yeah, but but the thing is, is that raising animals caused that land to get screwed up. So no, you should have been doing that no, to begin it, with. You should have been uh, right, farming, right, no, farming no. consciously. You should have been farming in a way that didn't hurt the, the, the environment so hard that you have to continue this nonsense regenerative gardening thing that you guys do instead of leaving the earth alone and letting it rebuild its own on its own let, let, let me let me let me interject with. something let you me interject it something it, with, because so it makes no okay. sense that that you have you, and, so, okay okay uh, can i can i interject i want to inject something so yes please interject you're, you're saying agriculture agriculture is screwing up the land you're basically saying human civilization screwing up the land but from what i can see yep. you're still part of human human civilization no, you're using it, the internet it, you seem to have a house of some sort she smoke your girlfriend smoking or your wife or your sister's smoking, smoking she is, weed, bro. right? Okay, so you're okay, you're still part of civilization, right? So you're not leaving it anytime soon. So you're causing <laughs> oh, oh, you want to see where we live right now? The environment. Hey bro, do you want to see where we live right now? Oh, not God. particularly, no. We're literally not really out interested in the middle personally. of the desert. Hold on a sec. Like, uh, Anti-war oh, mindset was trying to make a point while ago. Give him a chance, give him yeah. a chance to say something real quick. Yeah. What yeah, I mean, 
I mean, when it comes to these environmental questions, like this is an extremely broad topic. So we have to actually be more precise when you say, okay, animal agriculture screws the environment. Like what, yeah, what exactly okay, do you mean? You're like recuperating the, the farmland what happened to it's it to begin land. with? It's not farmland. First oh of all, you need to Semantics, lady. listen. Okay, no, I'll give you, I'll semantics. mute up. I'll give you five minutes. There's a troll in, there's there's a troll in the, the chat. There's the a troll, troll in the chat. I, am on, okay. I now own over a thousand acres of land that has been used for the last century for coal mining, gravel pit mining, crack mining, and the petroleum industry, and I live on the Utica Shale. This land has been destroyed by over a century of coal mining and subsequent frack mining. There is no farming here. There can't be any farming here because there's no soil here. That's the whole point of remediation. Okay. Well, your is situation is very specific, and it's not what we're talking about here. <clears throat> um, not it just is, everyone in the USA about. lives on a coal mine. So your, your no. special, special situation is irrelevant to this it conversation. Is this is not special. It is special. No, she's this is not saying special. that she has to remediate some land that's on some no, coal the, mine. The, not everyone no, else. You're telling mine. me, no, 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 no. You're telling me that livestock destroyed land. I'm telling you that I'm actually building the land, and you're sitting there saying agriculture destroys the land. <laughs> your your, your, your cows are sitting on top of coal it. coal tailings, and you think that you're regenerating no, coal tailings by putting your cows shit. on it. I don't no. know what she said. I didn't say that at all. Wait, why are you putting words in her mouth that she didn't say? I if you can't win that. the argument by what she said, you'll put new words in her mouth. Is but, that the game? Garland, we're here to have a discussion. But you're not discussing then, anything. What you're yeah, doing, I'm, you're I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just I'm pointing out getting everything out. I'm just pointing out the fact that you're building a straw man and watching you pile drive a, a straw man is kind of getting old. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Can okay. I ask you a question, Mr. Vegan, sir, Jeffrey Phillips? Right. So there's certain animals that eat stuff that humans can't consume. And there's like people in the third world who have chickens and pigs. And they need those chickens especially to survive and get protein from eggs. And they need to eat the chickens. So what, 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 what should they do then? Is that what we're talking about here? People that have yeah, chickens? Yeah, I'm just asking you a question. That's yeah, it. in the third world, about people have chickens. Yeah, people. Yeah, just, just, just focus on chickens. But you, you wanted to break it down. Let's just focus on chickens. People in the third world yeah. have chickens. You chickens, chickens. Not. I mean, that's not like it, it, uh, what's a peep. Someone having a bunch of chickens in their backyard that are free ranging and leaving some eggs. That I don't really have as much a problem with as I do factory farming, which is where every cow, even cows on little farms, ends up in a factory to get chopped that's up into true. pieces. That's false. That's yeah, okay. Yeah, so, yeah. No, so, but the uh, overwhelming that majority, false. lady, come on, your little specific one. Okay, so sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. So I, I want to. No, here. sorry. Okay, let me clarify something. Then. I, have a, I, have so, a, I have a question for Mickey. No, no, no. Do you no, know how? I was leading this. No, no. Animals, no. Garland Farms, farms. Do you know, know how big his farm is? Last year, he, I, I know that last year he had chickens and goats. Yeah. I have I have cattle. Goats, is it is it kids. like stolen valor if someone claims that they farm more than they do? Do you get like offended if someone claims they like are you know a big cattle farmer if they aren't? It's easy okay. to is find it... out if they if they are or they aren't. Yeah. Well, maybe in your world it is, but in my world it's not. <laughs> oh no, it's actually okay. very easy. Yeah, Garland Farms let let thousands of people think that he was a, a cattle farmer for years until I called him out on it. Um, because a buddy of his slipped up and mentioned that he only had a, a few car few goats in his yard um, when he was letting people for a year. He didn't correct people when they thought he was a, a huge cattle farmer. So is that like a stolen valor thing, like a military guy seeing a fake how military guy? How many, like how many acres? Uh, so do you know the USDA definition of a farm? Do you know what the USDA definition of a farm Tell is? Me. It is any outfit on the land that produces one thousand dollars or more income a year. 
That's the actual definition of a farm in the United States. Uh -huh. So I don't give a flying rat's ass what anybody does on their land. Because if he's making money, I don't think he's making money, though. Produce. I think he just has a couple goats. Because huh? he's only said he's regenerating no, actually, his yard I've with actually, the goats. He hasn't he's said actually, he's ever no, no, sold no. them or anything like he's that. He's actually filmed his, his Why are you banning so many people in the oh, chat, Garland? Why don't you let people talk? Because it's a troll. It's a troll. You're a okay. troll, dude. So, this is so not trolling. What do you mean? Okay, Philip, Philip. No, please, please, please. please. Oh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey. Okay, yes, Auntie hey, Armand, just... or Mr. Pink. Yeah, what's up? Okay, so you're fond of people having free-range chickens. So what principle no, are you I'm vegan? No, I'm not fond of it. It's just far lower on the scale of what pisses me off. Okay. If people, if there's a situation where people have to eat meat to survive, are you for it or against it? Absolutely for it. Okay. So I'm one of those I'm people just... that defend eating farming animals. So let, let me just go yeah. back to the are environmental that that question real quick. Farming animals? That, I, that I I'm actually, okay with yes, people I eating with it in life or death situation? We're not living in a life I or death left, situation. I left a career in nursing. Because I was sick eating a plant-based diet. Oh, please. That was literally killing me. Oh, not. No, please. I was uh, prove it. In Some way, prove it in one way. Um, I spent 15 years maxed out on 60 milligrams of prednisone every single day. A shot of... Well, you had body problems. You had all Saturday. kinds of problems. You can't just throw... I'm sorry? You had problems already. Yeah, you know what caused the problem? So again, your little Absolute one percentile problem has nothing to do with what me and no. Darwin are talking about. No, your little anecdotes that's... aren't aren't like concrete evidence Excuse for me. a meat-based diet. The Everything we know reason... about science okay. says that more meat is more death. Like you die more. No, 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 no. Right. Let's let's discuss right. the science, right? Give me let, a let me let me you guys are all joe rogan wannabe like fucking you guys just follow these Listen, i don't like joe rogan yeah, I, don't, I don't like joe rogan you're assuming a lot you you're assuming a lot about you're you're parodying parodying it. Propaganda, you're parodying his propaganda he's, he's, propaganda. Propaganda. he's the propaganda. first guy who was big who started saying oh all the all the all the studies about meat are are wrong blah 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 and you're all parodying that stuff you're you're like you're like well, flat earthers well, out here with your anti-science. No, 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 Look, you're a look, nurse and you're gonna correlation is the causation. Correlation is the causation. Gonna tell you that. I'm absolutely going to tell huh. you that because that is my lived experience. Because I heard you talking earlier and you seemed to think yeah. that everybody was going on the food pyramid. Do, do you think that, that no, a large I amount of the U.S. That. were on the I food pyramid that. and that's what I made just, them all fat? The no, I never mentioned the food pyramid. And I you're lying. Say, you didn't say pyramid specifically, but you said the I did, the, the, the ADA's I diet said, hey, is the hey, food pyramid. No, no, listen, no, 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 that's listen. not what I said. I Garland, said American Garland, American can I say something? Okay, hold on. So uh, diabetic Association, Garland, their okay. dietary guidelines. Yeah, they tell people to eat me. A shitty, Garland. shitty standard American diet. Basically, they tell people to eat. Ga no. Garland, American Heart okay, Association. Is terrible, Let's terrible health pause advice. For, I'm pause sorry. For pause, pause for a moment. Pause for a moment. You're you're taking advice from the people that own the hospitals. They don't want you to Garland. be healthy. Jeffrey, like, no, that's that shit. Shit. Jeffrey, that's Jeffrey, hold on. That Jeffrey, Garland. Okay, listen. Listen. Mindset. Listen, this is, Darling, this is a train wreck. Eight times. What? Hey, I'm asking you to hush for a moment. Okay. Yeah. I mute myself. So, and we, yeah, exactly. So, so either we discuss the environment or we discuss the health because we're just jumping from topic to topic. Yeah, like it's not not structured. We need to have I a structure. I don't think he's capable of sticking with anything. Because number one, he's oh, high, and number two, because, he has an agenda. Yeah, I mean, yeah. listen. Also, 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 we got to stop using personal antidotes because I actually reject vegan personal antidotes, and it's mm -hmm. just he, he says, she says, and it, they can it, it's pointless, right? So let, let's leave out personal health antidotes from this completely. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We, we can we we can talk about health. So he he made claims about health all the time. Says 
eating meat is unhealthy or whatever claim he just made. Let, let me just destroy him on that, okay? Thank you. Just, just give, give, let, let, us, let us just give some, some point, some data point, right? Let's do it. So let us talk about the Adventist Health Study too, right? And this is a study that actually vegans love to cite, right? They love the study so much. Oh, it shows that eating meat is unhealthy and all this stuff. Actually, when you look at the raw, unadjusted data, it shows the exact opposite. The highest mortality rate from all causes have actually uh, are actually the vegans in that study. When you look at the raw, unadjusted data. When you do actually the mortality rate calculations, which everybody can do. Do you have links to that? Yeah, I can show that real quick. Yeah, bring Wait it a up, second. Actually. You can present it. If you're gonna definitely yeah, I can you're gonna be it. quoting studies, you need to pull it up so we can all see it. We'll put it on, we'll put it on the screen like, and like, we'll put a link. Raw unadjusted data. Like the the data is yeah. adjusted for a reason. It depends it is, on the data. Let, listen, let, let me let me talk there's about no data. For one, there's no data that you're talking about. You're saying vegans are in this study. Let's see it. Can, can, it can you can, can you see that, that shit? It's there. No. Okay. <laughs> I hope it's on screen right now. So yeah, this I talk about this uh can you, can you uh, study so I can actually pull it up and actually look at it, not just some clip that could have easily been changed or something like that. Changed? Like what are you, what are you talking about, man? Just give them a give me the link. link. The, the, link study, is at, dude. the link is at the top of the screen. Like, do you know how to debate? You're supposed to like present. You're supposed to. Uh, this is a very, very loose debate. It's a discussion. We're trying to be so yeah, cool these... without using a bunch of debate tricks to. Uh, what do you mean debate? We want to make That's the animals. I, I, I think, I think the, the, of just the animals don't benefit the from debate it. tricks. Listen, I think this the study title is the association between red meat and processed meat intake and all cause cardiovascular and cancer mortality in the okay, where, where is Adventist the vegan health. part of that? It is uh there the was, zero it there would there would say in the, that that would see also with vegans. It says zero intake. They mean zero intake of of uh, unprocessed meat, right? So they have like five Five groups, right? So they have the zero intake of meat, then they have the first quartile, the second and third and fourth quartile. So basically increasing the meat consumption in these quartiles, right? And here's the number of deaths, right? So they follow th these people and they uh, track the number of deaths, right? When you actually do the calculation with the raw unadjusted data, uh, the highest all-cause mortality rate has uh, is in the vegan group or in the vegetarian, no meat, zero meat group. And as, you go, and, just put them in bed. And, and, and as you go up in the quartiles here, increasing the meat consumption, it actually is lower and lower and lower, the, the mortality rate, okay? So this would be uh, the raw unadjusted data, what actually happened in reality. What the science, so-called scientists did is they is they fudge the numbers by reporting okay. the exact opposite. All okay. Right. Which right, and let me about. tell you the problem. For a while. So no, I haven't gone from a while. I'm not finished yet. Because you want to make the point about adjustment, right? You can actually easily distort data like that. Because again, what actually happened in reality is that we saw the lowest mortality rates among the highest meat eating group, and yet these offers report the exact opposite, which is fraud, okay? Because when you do multivariate regression, which is what they do in these models, mm -hmm. there's omitted variable bias, okay? You cannot adjust for all the, 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 the variables, okay? There's also this thing called multicollinearity, which basically means that the independent variables are intercorrelated. So you cannot iron out which has what kind of impact on the outcome because they're all intercorrelated. Like, for example, the variable 
male uh, gender with uh, red meat intake, which is positively correlated, but male gender is also correlated with uh, mortality, higher mortality on its own. So we cannot iron out which has like what kind of impact, which is the problem with the multivariate regression in this particular study, right? So it's better to look at the absolute out, uh, the raw unadjusted outcome data, which shows that the vegans are actually having the highest mortality rates as opposed to the meat eaters. So there you go. This is just one data point. What do you say to that? Okay. Huh? Well, for one, um, let's meet next week, and I'll I'll take a look at this study since I'm not familiar with it, um, and we can talk about it next week. And we could compare our findings then. But um, if this is a study where the scientists can flub the numbers, then it's a simple, it's a very low quality study because the studies that I'm talking about that I'm coming here with are <laughs> meta studies. They're studies on studies where like if any bad flubbed data happens, there's there's a pattern. When when you when you study 2000 studies there's a pattern in the truth that comes out. And when you have a study, no, one study now stop, I fuck, I was be quiet for you, so please. So if you have a study where you're saying these scientists messed up the data and got to these numbers, then this is a very low quality study. And that's not what I'm here with. I'm here with 200 years of science, studies upon studies upon studies where they know the truth and they can see when some sort of outside influence money some kind of you know some sort of outside influence is, is messing with the numbers and they'll just they'll take that study out of the equation so you're talking about one one low low quality study but i will be here next week to give my opinion about that study after i've seen it um you kind of pointing at a, a page and giving your opinion of what the study says is really this is like this is like, you know, this you, you, is can't, you can't calculate this science, yourself, bro. right? <laughs> okay. Can, can, you can't can calculate can the raw unadjusted data I'll, I'll meet mortality you rates yourself. Next week, we'll talk about it next week. You can't just bombard me with a study and expect me to understand or even say anything to it. You got a bunch of people in the chat, Garland, uh, in the in the comment, in the secret chat, looking, waiting for you. Um, but yeah, this isn't, you can't just... You're you're not doing science here, bro. If that's what you think you're doing, like you're you're not doing science either. You make you made bold assertions no, about proof no. about the, the help of me. You're not, you're not doing we'll, science. Yeah, I'll come back and and we'll see what what caliber of study this is, what kind of study this is, and see um you know how it's the Adventist Health Study uh, cohort uh, mortality mortality outcomes. Like what, what all vegans love, right? They love the study. And Don't it actually proves me. our point. I'm someone right here. You can't generalize me like Garland Farms. He loves doing that and wasting all our time all day. By the way, by the way I, I also can present systematic reviews, like the systematic re review that I showed last stream, which shows that if you go on plant-based diets, there's going to be uh, micronutrient deficiencies. That's How about that? Nonsense. All micro <laughs> What are you talking about, dude? All micro study. Show me the study. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll, I'll make. I'll, I'll fit. I'll fit into my schedule to look at this one also and meet you again next week. Link, uh, link that study, but also link the study. While you're, please link the study. He hasn't linked also, either of the uh, studies yet. Like, where are these studies? <laughs> Two studies. Well, he's, Give me the links. He's got he's got the links, but also I wanted to ask you, um, what are the three stages at which bias can be injected into a meta analysis? I have no idea. Hmm. Cultural and institutional bias. Yeah, but I, as I just explained, it gets worked out when they see biases. No, no, no it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It it, it depends. It depends on the institution oh, in science. Geez. It might be a cultural bias true. in science. No, it doesn't. It is true. Because it's, when it's, you do a study it's, it's, of, of like 3,000 studies, it's not just one group or one side of it. But this is all, all right. you know, First of all, 
what what sort, me, what, what sort of science are we talking about? What sort no. of science are we talking about? Give, talking me, about? give me the in social links. Sciences, give me the links. In social sciences, you can give have bias. I'm not so talking wrong. until I get the links. So may I ask a question of you, Jeffrey? So why does... Not until I get the links. You guys no, are scared. No, no, if, you, if you can't show your scared. evidence immediately, you obviously have no idea what you're talking about. Well, I'm going to ask you yes. about some evidence because for years the World Health Organization said that a vegan just, diet was acceptable. Who gives for a all shit people. about why are you guys scared of some old kook? You guys are all I'm horrified of these of rich guys ignoring the real problem, which is the government. You know, First you guys all pay your taxes you so off to the government. You are incredibly yeah. rude and incapable of respectful conversation, number well, one. I'm on Garland but Farms' does, channel right now, lady. If you want to come to my channel, you can, and we can have a nice conversation. But as long as you're up here with a bunch of, of carnists, you know, I, this is how you're going <laughs> to... Yes. Yes. Well, I'm you sorry. Come but to my I'm channel. Every Friday, so, we go live, a bunch whatever. of vegans, and you could talk all the shit to us you can, and we're actually very nice over there, unlike Garland Farms. Uh, well, oh, yeah. oh, we, so I don't nice think so. Orders, I don't think you're someone I actually want to talk to, but the question is, why doesn't the World Health Organization still promote veganism as a diet that's why acceptable Why would I give a everybody? shit about... That doesn't make any difference. Like, what difference do you think they that came makes? Up with if a some, bunch if of some institution they says like something... If yeah, some institution says something, that doesn't mean it's the there. truth, lady. That just means exactly. a bunch of rich guys decided right. to push it on people. Thank you for finally admitting that. That's exactly okay. right. Those you're scared of all these... The, you, you're a, you're, okay, can't, can't I ask you something then? Huh? Can't, I, can't I go back to you and say, there's, there's rich people Where's the who push the vegan diet of society. Where's the link? I can say that. Just, you're, you're, claim, you're claiming... That rich people are trying to push meat in diets on people. I can turn around and claim to you that rich people are trying to push the vegan diet onto everyone. Right? So you're making a claim. I can push the vegan diet. Right Have you been you. to a supermarket ever in your life? It's uh, all vegan dairy, bro. I don't know what you're talking no, no, about. No, 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 no. Lots of vegan, lots of vegan foods get pushed now. No, absolutely not. No. no. Maybe no, in the UK, you're in the UK, you're well. in the UK you're in, we're all in the USA, well. so again, your anecdote, can, 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 you already said, is use, use isn't irrelevant, is irrelevant. Can, 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 you're, you're, you're in, in, in the well, USA, then. we don't have a ton of vegan food at the rest, at the, at the supermarket. There's a tiny section. Mm -hmm. It's about, it's about, it's probably 2% of the supermarket food. So where so where is okay? okay so hold on. Do you guys think vegan? government is pushing veganism? Wait, hold on, hold Do you guys on. Think government is pushing veganism. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, they actually, they, they are. are. You do. They are. That's why they 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 spend trillions on subsidies for meat because they're pushing veganism. What, what planet what are you guys on? What Do you guys have lipemia or something? All wait, this wait, fat wait, you eat is like clogging your brain cells. None of this no, makes no, no, sense. No, no. But you get these things you're saying. You're talking about because I right. What subsidies? Food in stop, 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 stop. Uh -huh. Food in general gets there's subsidies. No meat and vegetables. In the USA. Is this what there, you're there's, saying? There's, there's, there's farming. Farmerly? Farming in Europe. Is, look, in farming in Europe, meat and vegetables get subsidies. And dairy products. They all get subsidies. Going on well, your anecdotes are relevant then. Your anecdotes are relevant then. If my antidotes are relevant, yours is. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Can you share my screen? Garland, can you share my, share the screen? My, my screen? Is the one that says saturated Send fat? Send me the fat. links yeah. so I can look at them yeah, it's myself up, it's and been we up. will talk about them it's next up. week. We'll see it's how... Funny how you dictate the schedule on somebody else's channel. Yeah, yeah, maybe I'm also like having some other... Uh, appointments that day, right? <laughs> well, of course, you're not going to be anyway, but, it, right? Well, I'll come back on Garland. If Garland goes live, I'll come back and I'll do it without you. Listen, you you, you made you made the bold health you claims, right? Up. You you made you made the both. You, you engaged bold. with a debate with me. You you presented evidence. Now I obviously need to look at the evidence and respond. So well, you, you this, right now, this is like this groupthink shit. You guys all show each other garbage. 
and you make up stuff about it, and then you guys all think it's hey, 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 there's hey, a hey, problem. Hey, hey, hey. There's a problem. No, 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 listen, listen, no, no, listen, no, no, there's no, a problem. No no, here. No, no, no. no, no, shut up, shut up, gobshite. Okay, we've been <laughs> patient with you, right, we've been I'll, patient I'll with you. Myself. Okay, right, I'll show you, patience. okay, 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 right. So, you, you, you claim the studies that you've just been shown bullshit, but you, you haven't looked at them yet. So, how do you know they're bullshit? Explain that. You just assume they are because you're a vegan and you've got some sort of psychological... I said I'm going to look at them and see what they're about. You just did. You claim your bullshit. Don't gaslight me. Jesus Christ. You you vegans are nutcases. This is gaslighting, lying, obfuscation, straw manning. You're a bunch of lunatics. Evidence is presented to me so I can actually look at it so you guys can stop deceiving. Garland, can can you... Put uh, send that in the chat link also. For the study in the can I what? private chat. S- send, can you, we can all you have access give that in the, in the chat? chat. Put, put them in there. It's really easy. The private chat know. is being spammed, though. The private chat is being spammed. Oh, That's it's not problem. moving that fast, bro. I'm, okay. I can it's see it's it. being spammed with like yeah, weird yeah, shit. You excuse. know, they don't give me any option to ban the people that are posting in there. Send me the link. Post a link. Wild. Can you post a link to the YouTube stream instead? So I'm looking at the USDA website, and the only thing I find is grants for meat processing. I don't find any subsidies for meat. And since I'm a meat Corn producer, you think that I know about this shit everything, since I'm one you know, of the like officers you're, you're of my clearly, local extension. If you're business. having to look this up, you clearly... So what are you talking about? If, you, if you're having meat. to look this up, you clearly have no idea what you're talking about. No, I do know what Born I'm talking about. Corn and soy is subsidized. Is that a part exist. of farming? So, yes, it is. So you're sitting here lying plenty of other about stuff. my profession. And Listen, the farming subsidies, farming subsidies is a broad topic. Boring. Listen, the, the whole thing to do with the 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 forces. The whole thing. The whole thing to do. Put the link in the in the private chat. Put the link in the YouTube chat. No, Stalin. Just put in the YouTube chat. I don't have the link. This is this is uh, anti-war mindset. Got the link. Anti-war. This is so typical of you guys. You guys never have the link. Can you mute this vegan, please? Can you mute this vegan for thirty seconds? I'm trying to speak. Just ask me. Okay, Jeffrey. Anti-war mindset. Jeffrey, will you hush? Jeffrey, will you hush for a moment? So okay, go ahead. Okay, anti one mindset. Get your links. You guys there? Open up the YouTube tab with the stream and just put the links in there. You can get it from there. If you want them? Uh, Everyone uh, can get them. Is it uh, transparent? Uh, Everyone can see the links. Over there. Can show yeah. everyone. Just put it in the YouTube stream in the chat. Uh, I, I, I'm not. I'm not locked in with my YouTube. Are you saying to go on? Right <laughs> yeah, that's all right. I'll just do it later. Then, in the comments. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So wanna eat, you want to eat, eat? Can you email me those links and I'll put them up? Uh, yeah. Okay. Wait. Wait. I, I put you guys put should go link, spam right? my channel chat. Um. Wait. Wait a Did second. It, the thing is, think about you vegan. You've got this weird of video smug attitude. Over like there. having the fun. You're, you're trolling. Huh? You don't come across as someone who really cares about animals <laughs> and sentient you life. Know? You're just like, like this jokey little, okay. smug little troll. Where have you deducted that? I will be in there in a while. Where have you deduced that from, sir? What was that? Okay, my, my, let, let me say something. My, my throat Where is kind of sore right now. That one, my sir. The, I don't like animals. Um, Interacting with you lot. No, you don't care about them. Did you say you lot? You don't really care about lot. them. I'm a one person. I'm not a lot. So again, stop generalizing. Yeah, but, yeah you're, part, you're part of the vegan cult though, aren't you? You're part of the vegan collective. At least I'm not a death <laughs> cult like you guys. At least we're not a death well, cult or a blood cult, cult or a sacrifice what do you mean death cult? cult. So, so every single oh, cult. Oh yeah, still you not didn't like that one, did you? So no, protection. I don't care. I don't care. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, let, let, let me say something. Let me say something. Let, let me ask you a question, dude. Jeffrey, let me ask you a question. James, you're right, you're in support you, of eating meat, you right? Run on these times, you run away immediately. Yeah. So just stick to one topic. Right. Stick to either health. Okay, the, the topic environment. is put the link to the the study you are citing I, I, I in the private to chat, so or else he, he you're a that. liar. Basically, yeah. you're up here lying. I'm if not you lying. Can't prove, bro. If you're going to be presenting evidence, you have to prove that the evidence actually exists. 
and you can't even do it. And I've been asking. He showed it. No, 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 so I can tell you why. How, 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 how is he not open? He's the best he can offer. <laughs> this is yeah, not what, what, wait, quick, quick question. What I want to say about that study in particular is that it shows that uh, it is an overview of our systematic reviews, right? Very high standard of evidence. And it looks at like saturated fat and like okay, half Okay, what's the comes. second one? Give me the second one now. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I need you to title. Can't you not you Google mean? it? Jesus fucking yeah. Christ. Give me the title. It's a link. We're on the internet, bro. You're presenting we'll stuff. Shouldn't you Just have email it? Email it to me and I'll post it. We don't want to give him any technicality to get off on. You guys can't hear me? Why are you hiding behind people, Garden Farm? For a logical reason, are you vegan? What, what, what compels you to be a vegan? I'm just curious. I've been vegetarian and vegan. compels you to be a vegan? What? What compels you to be a vegan? What do you mean, what compels me to be a vegan? What issues do you questions. have? I'm here to get this link. <laughs> so I can come back next week and we can talk about this. No, I want me to come back next week, honestly. I do, I do not care if you don't if you show up. I will not lose any sleep if you don't show up, lady. You don't have to be here. Nobody will lose. You don't show up. Where's the other link? Jeffrey, sure. have you ever heard of the, the pathology? I, I sent Harold you heard? in his email right now. What, what's, what's the name that stuck on the authoritarian mindset? The pathology of the authoritarian mindset from the 50s. What's more authoritarian was than by killing needlessly or killing yeah. sentient beings, beings needlessly when you have well, other options? That's, that's, what, that's, what that, that's, that's what vegans do. That's what vegans do. Life is life. Garland Farms life. already life admitted life. that animal, life is... animal ag kills yes. more, does more harm to the environment than... I'm posting the next link in the comments. No. Garland, why Our target is authoritarian then for eating cray. <laughs> Our target is authoritarian then for eating cray. Oh, that's the nutrient balls. Are right? you comparing humans with carnivores? What yeah, we're, we're, we're carnivores? animals. Humans are animals, though. We're animals. We're animals just like them. We're just more yes, intelligent. We're that's smarter all. than that, and we're living right now in a time when we could get by without killing animals. So, <laughs> no, can't. You, e even, no, can't. Even like the lions. Because lions. Claim. Yeah, exactly. Be wrong because lions. That's an that's extraordinary your, that's your claim. Argument, bro. That's your argument. No, but that's, I'm just a, that's an extraordinary claim. Do you have any evidence to back it up? The yes. Evidence to back what up? Can't be a oh, no, next my week we'll have plenty of evidence next week when, when, when we come back after looking at your evidence. You I don't eat kale. What does that have to do with it? You're yeah, generalizing me. That study that Anika. specifically looked at a vegan future. Yes. What? I don't care uh, I'm not. That is my Listen, man. I'm, I'm, right. I'm, I'm going to go now. You so guys are going. Bye. So, for what? Jesus Can you guys Christ. not hear me? No, dude. You Can weren't you in you? there, bro. That's not how StreamYard works. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they don't hear you. They you don't. had to go over to the Garland Farms thing and go in on that side. Oh, so I couldn't talk shit to him anyways. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, I was over wondering. There and done it. Yeah. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. I so wanted to talk shit to that beta dude. Like, go over there. We, uh, you, you go up and we'll watch. Holy God, shit. I'm, I'm, I'm over it now. I, I wanted to at the time, but you know, we're, we're here. We're good. Yeah, that's a good one. I need to uh I need to get Braxton in here so he can be Jamie and run through the comments. Yeah. Ooh, so that was you. hilarious. That was super funny. That was great. We got more stuff to work with now. Um these studies will be interesting to look at these studies. Um Vegan Gains, Joey Carbstrong, they were all in the in this in the private comments. Um 
we'll probably get all them to, uh, you know, look at this stuff too and see what's going on. Um, what do you guys yeah, think, they, Joey? You can't just you can't just bombard someone with a study and put them on the spot and expect them to navigate that. Like that's insane. And like by what he said, for one, he was talking out of his ass. He doesn't know how to read a study worth of any more than I do. You know. Um, well, no, I, I probably do know how to read a study a little bit more than him, but I at least understand studies more than him because he said he's all, oh, the scientists flubbed the data. And it's like, OK, then that data is trash and it would have never been t considered legitimate data to begin with um, because it would be outside the general consensus of science. And anything that's that hard outside the general consensus of science gets thrown in the trash as junk science. So whatever this study is, red and processed meat, whatever, saturated fat and estimate, we're going to go through it quite a bit. And it'll be fun because um, uh, these guys, it's so dumb when they walk into these traps. Like they don't understand <laughs> what they're doing when they walk into these traps. You know, they can't just throw a, 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 a study on the screen, say some re uh, uh, explain their version of it that goes against what the study says <laughs> and expect that to be he's all he's all oh once you take out if once you look at the raw data yeah the raw data is not the correct data like you have to make it there's always adjustments in science you have to you can't just you know like it, it's baffling but this dude was saying that there was vegans in the study and there are no vegans in the study like we'll see but it didn't say anything about comparing it with vegans. It was no processed meat. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what this is. Oh, boy. This is great. Red and processed meat and mortality and low meat intake populations. So, right, when you first look at a study, let me pull this up. You want to find out what kind of study it is on the, um, on the hierarchy of of uh science so let me pull up what this thing looks like um oops so the pyramid the pyramid of science what's it called i think this is it oh sorry was i yelling in your ear babe sorry i start yelling especially if it's Garland, she has to go flee. <laughs> yeah, hierarchy of scientific because I get, I'm a loud dude. I understand. Mm. Um, so this thing here. So we got to look at the study and find out where it falls on this. And John Bob, pay close attention yeah, to this stuff. This is really important for us as vegans. We can't throw stuff around like these guys do. So you got the hierarchy of science, scientific evidence. Um, where up at the top, you have meta-analysis and systematic reviews, which this is, these are the strongest forms of evidence because they're studies of studies and they're studies of dozens of studies and they're studies of hundreds of studies and they're studies of thousands of studies over yeah that's a, like a the top of, of the time. top sometimes yeah across uh the world's studies they'll look at you know they'll look at all the studies in the world and once you do that um, enough science this is where these guys are all wrong all these these um meathead carnists are absolutely wrong when they just simply dismiss every study because Oh, those scientists messed, you know, messed messed with the data because someone paid them or something like this. So once you do enough of these meta analyses, you um, there's patterns that come out that are very clear, and um, those become the real, real strong forms of science. Where it's like, okay, so if Every, every if, if 95 of the studies 95 percent of the studies in the world say that you know um eating milk every morning you know raises your chances of a heart attack by 80 percent and then some study puts out no it actually raises 
uh, it actually lowers your heart attack by 80%, that will be immediately dismissed in science, in, in these studies. It will be dismissed. So this idea that enough in interest could be put in so many thousands of um, studies around the world for hundreds of years, it's very hard to say, oh, point, point at some rich guy and be all, he's influenced this all the way since the 1800s, you know, like you can't do that. That's not how it works. This science, this meta analysis are the highest standards in the world. <clears throat> so when he explained, and, and so again, that's millions of scientists, you know, like in so, like uh, maybe not millions, but thousands of scientists in some of these studies, um, you know, if a few of them give up funny numbers, those in the entire study gets eliminated from the master study, you know, like the meta-analysis is, is like the highest, like it's the best information we have as humans. So when people are like, oh, that study doesn't matter, um, you know, it's, it's like, uh, well, wait, you're saying that science is wrong because uh, Joe Rogan had the carnivore doctor on and he said that all this stuff is wrong. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> It's right. like Padini. Okay. You should yeah. have heard him today. What? Fucking Padini. Padini oh, no, today. We don't, we don't care about Padini, dude. Padini has the worst takes, and then he just makes a joke out of it and disappears. He just wants to get people. He just wants attention, dude. <laughs> like he really just wants attention. And do you his... think that's why he goes against it? Boy, that would explain him. No, it's, that would it's really just, explain it really well, honestly. It's because Larkin Rose, he's closer with Larkin Rose than he is with uh, Mark Passio. That's why. And and it doesn't, and it would take effort and would be hard for him to do to go vegan. Obviously, he just doesn't care. Um, but no, Either it's just, way, like, look at Larkin. Why would you want to look like that guy? Oh, he's on <laughs> yeah. steroids. I don't know if he's on steroids, no, but he's, he's, he's been on, TRT, he's like been on TRT for a very long time. It was very obvious. He went from being a little fat schlub to like, and then his personality completely changed too. So, you know, funny. So anyway, so when you look at a study, you got to figure out what kind of um, study it is and uh go from there um but we, we will look at this stuff and we will come back or we will do on the show if, if garland's not live um which it was funny because every no once i started saying hey we're gonna come back and talk about this next week none of them wanted to have anything to do with it so it's like obviously you guys are you know and like i said they just they show each other this stuff and they just make shit up because that's what the influencers are doing that's what rogan and all his buddies are doing so and, and then they're all, oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Look at that study. That's right. You know, and it's like, you guys, holy crap. And you were inconveniencing them by asking for the titles of the studies. Like they were getting no, so bored would, about dude, that. He would not. He would not cough it up for almost 40 minutes. It took forever. Like, he's he's unreasonable. <laughs> and he just like he and, and, and what he was showing me wasn't a clip from a study. That's not what they look like. You know, so it's like, and like Garland does that. He makes all these graphs and shit and plays them off as being something legit when really he made it. He's got this red and yellow graph. I don't remember, know if you remember from the debate. Um, not if I remember that. It's, it's basically, he says, how, how much more soy will have to grow if, if we abolish farming, cow farming, right? And it's this hmm. huge graph that's like off the chart saying we need, we need more soy to to get enough protein for everyone and it's like um who says we have to get all of our protein from soy and it was just like his whole chart his whole argument down the toilet like dude we get most of our protein not from soy as it is so i'm confused i'm not protein deficient i've been vegan for six years already i feel i feel great you know i don't think we're supposed to be high protein animals though 
Although I have been pretty curious about sugar ever since you said that last week. I really Ask want to start. Braxton looking how he feels about sugar now. Braxton, Braxton. was a sugar phobe also. I was, yeah. Did you do it? I'm coming around. Carbs and like carb, high carb Braxton is his new YouTube name. Yeah. Yeah, the simple carbs. They've been treating me pretty well. I'm starting to get a little more uh, a little more pep in my step, switching things this up dude a little. Came out of his shell the day I was like, he was putting sugar in his uh his uh mud water. And I was like, put twice as much as you normally would. And he's like, Oh, okay. <laughs> and that day he would he started talking everyone's ear off. After being super quiet for two days, without caffeine, and pretty quiet on the show. Now he's like busting one-liners all all day long. This dude's hilarious, by the way. He doesn't make any jokes <laughs> on the show, but all day long he's busting one-liners, and like at least three quarters of them are like worthy of being on like a comedy show. Way better than Justin Bedini. Like hilarious, and he's like running up and down mountains and stuff. And he like got here all like uh. He was all like muscle atrophied when he got here. We got him in the sun. We got him in the sun. He's got some sun on his skin. He's got some uh, some natural vitamin D flowing after being in Washington State his whole life. We got him out here in the desert in the sun. He got he got blood blisters on his shoulders the first couple of days because well, he went blood a little blisters. too hard and he wasn't listening to me when I kept telling him to cover up because he's kind of a yeah. You got you got to cover up at first. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My yeah, sweetie I'm gets pretty my... bad at me when I take my shirt off. I I don't listen either. I'm pretty bad with that, Braxton, so don't feel bad. Yeah. Sometimes we got to learn the hard way, right? Yeah, especially being up in Washington, it's more of a, it's kind of a vampire by default kind of state. So you take off your shirt up there, it's a little different. Come down here to the desert, whew, you get torn up if you're not careful. Yeah, I, I went for a bike ride with, with my wife and uh, she was telling me, wear a jacket, honey, wear a jacket. And I was like, no, I want to like get some sunlight, you know, because we had a, a nice long drive and I, I burnt the hell out of my arm. And I don't know, it was like five, six hours on the bike or maybe more. But yeah, I fried my arm and she's like, see, you never listen, she said. <laughs> She always tells me that. I, I honestly don't listen well enough. Oh, she's actually watching the show tonight, by the way, guys. If anybody wants to make sure she's okay. <laughs> Tony Bones, clap back there. Oh. Boy, was that shit fucking nuts. Yeah. I couldn't believe how crazy she was. She just started freaking out. Is you she okay? Just as crazy as she was, John Bob. <laughs> <laughs> you went pretty dark too. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe that. I I couldn't stand her. I I hate Western feminists. Like, dude, she was mean to to that guy for no reason. Just attacked him. Like, I don't take well to feminists because I I've been screwed over just for being a guy. You know, I've seen the sexism in our system. I'm from Minnesota, which is like the biggest women's state, by the way, guys. Like, yeah, 13 year custody battle. And I, I've met men that were stabbed with knives and they went to jail. And, like, yeah, I, I just am not for women like her. I, I get pretty emotionally stirred up, honestly. <laughs> so. But I'll own it. You know, it is what it is. Like I said, you know, I've, I've been brutalized, so I'm a little bit biased on the subject, you know? Yeah, so. you are. <laughs> we can tell. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, I think we're going to watch another video. Uh, babe, you want to come watch this video? I'm what going to go to the live stream, and I'm going to start spamming it with our stream yard to get some maybe get some, some oh look um, at devin larkin larkin barrel ass rose that guy is such a beta i'm with you brother he he deleted me though i can't call him a beta to his face because he likes an echo chamber he did all of us he's a cow wad he doesn't like being called out he uses just just about he uses 
the same, if not worse, arguments than everyone else. Yeah. I've never uh, heard him say anything intelligent. I mean, he he, claims that he he claims that vegans claim to not harm anything, and that we're not we're being dishonest because we do harm things by by having by incident, which is super fallacy uh, over and over again. Yeah, because we're following that line of logic, then they do more by default. Like they do the exact same things that we do, like ten times as bad because there's animals involved. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. There's a, there's a name for that fallacy. I can't remember exactly what it is, though. <clears throat> I got to get better with my own. I thought it was the... Appe- uh, mm. Oh, shit. Stop. What happened? No. Mm. The appeal to futility fallacy, right? Appeal to futility? Mm. Yeah, futility. The appeal to futility. Claiming, oh, the, it's it's bad over here, so we, we ain't going to make a difference anyways type thing. No, that ain't it. I I fucked that up, but it's okay. (laughs) We'll we'll get it all refined soon enough. So, Ed. So this is a video we watched before, but it it pissed me off, and I've been thinking about it ever since. And um, me and Allie kind of had a brainstorm the other day about it. Um... This kind of, where should I start? Uh, I think we'll just get into it. And as things pop up, um, as things pop up, I'll stop. And if you ever guys, if you guys want me to stop, I'll stop. Anyone else want to come up here? Devin, that would be great if you'd come up. Um, And uh, brainstorm also, because something needs to be done. Rip Alley. Oh, rip Alley's ears. Mm-hmm. I'll be right back, guys. All right. I have a super expensive mic that I don't have to yell at, and I yell anyway. Just, it just equalizes the volume. Yeah, it doesn't equalize the volume to Alley's ears right here. <laughs> <laughs> rip Alley on Facebook. Yeah, Alley's yeah. Facebook got yoinked. She's pretty sad. Her simp army is gone. <laughs> no, it's all the memories, all the memes. It was like a I treated it like you know, like a safe storage for pictures and stuff, but whatever. F Facebook. Yeah, Zen, you should come up. Um oh boy, race lever wants okay. to debate again. I can mm. take you from here. I don't need to come up there. You'll have a tough enough time handling. Oh, race lever. I need, they need like an auto comment. I, maybe I should change to like one of those other apps. Yeah, that was crazy. So Garland had me up there and he had all these fools in the backstage. Um, obviously, uh, Richard, vegan.